Hi, I'm James Harbeck. For today's pronunciation tip, a special request from Gregory Whitehead. How do you pronounce the name of the painter who painted this? Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh. Nope. Nope. And also, yep. Nope. Not quite. It's this. In English, we all say Vincent van Gogh. And those of us who ever think about it probably know that that's not actually how it's said in Dutch. And some people want to be like, oh, well, they, they, this is said that way in Dutch, so it, the English way is just wrong. Well, I mean, it's wrong in Dutch, yeah. But in English, as in most languages, we have our own versions of the names of famous places and famous people. And we have to recognize that that's part of the conversation. It's... It's why we say Tuscany instead of Toscana. It's why we say Rio de Janeiro instead of Rio de Janeiro. It's why we say Paris instead of Paris, you know, unless we're trying to be fancy. Oh, we're going to Paris. It's still wrong. Um, and likewise, it's why we say Confucius instead of Kung Fu. It's why we say August Strindberg instead of August Strindberg. I mean, really? We, we want to see this play by Strindberg. Maybe like what? And it's why we say Vincent van Gogh instead of, well, if you've seen any of my previous videos on pronunciation of Dutch names, Dutch place names, you might remember that the letter G in Dutch is never, ever, ever pronounced G, or for that matter, J. It's pronounced G, or at the end of a word or other D voice location, like after a voiceless consonant, G. So, G-O-G-H is Roch. You will notice that the H at the end is just like hanging out there. You don't say Roch. It's just Roch. Now, as for the Vs, um, and by the way, it's definitely not Fincent. It's the, the letter I is I. But as for the Vs, a lot of people will think, okay, I, I heard it, it sounded like F, um, so it must be F, like in German. Well, no. In German, V is always F, and W is V, and in Dutch, no. W is neither V nor F nor W. It is V, which is a sound that no other Germanic language even, you know, does. Um, v, v. It's the, if, if you're trying to say V, but your lower lip just can't quite get there, you know, V. v. Uh, anyway, that's not what we're covering. Um, F is the letter F, or V when it's voiceless. V is like English, V, only maybe it's not quite as strong. V, V. So, Vincent, Vincent. That's how you say it in Dutch, Vincent. And Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Or together, Vincent Van Gogh. Because remember, the V becomes F after that T. Oh, but here's the fun thing. Um, lately in Dutch, there's been a trend towards greater devoicing of the V in many places, just sort of, you know, where the speaker feels like it, among speakers who feel like it. Um, because remember, Dutch speakers take great joy in the uniqueness of their pronunciation. Well, I mean, you know, they might not show it, they might not be like, woohoo, van hoch. But in the same way as in English, we really enjoy the fact that our spelling and pronunciation are so badly matched that any non-English speaker will never get them all right all the time because English speakers don't either. So, if you watch a video in Dutch on this painter, you might hear one time Vincent van Gogh and another time Vincent van Gogh and so forth. But if you, an English speaker, are trying to say it correctly to, according to the Dutch, just say Vincent van Gogh. And if you're trying to say it in Canada, the US, England, Australia, New Zealand, places they speak English, and you're speaking to other English spe people, English speaking people, I'll get it right yet. Why don't you just say Vincent van Gogh? Unless you're really trying to show off that you know the Dutch. And then half the time they're gonna be like, who are you talking about? Oh, you're just trying to impress me. Okay, I'm impressed. So there's your answer, Vincent van Gogh or Vincent van Gogh.